that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of this Commonwealth. So help me God. <laughs> All right, thank you. Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir now officially in his second term. He was sworn in at midnight in a private ceremony, but today the public is getting in on the celebrations. It was the 62nd inaugural parade kicking off less than an hour ago and still going on. Dozens of teachers, more than 60 health care workers and other first responders made up the largest group of grand marshals. Bashir rolled in on a horse drawn carriage with his family alongside his dad, former Governor Steve Bashir, the only father and son elected to the governor's mansion. Also a part of today's parade, a nod to LMPD officer Nick Wilt, who is still recovering, as you know, from Louisville's mass shooting in April and Tommy Elliott one of the victims from that day who was at the parade in spirit as an honorary chair. Well, the day began with an inaugural breakfast attended by Lieutenant Governor Jacqueline Coleman, who spoke about the transition we can expect to see for the next four years. Our Jim Stratman and photojournalist Nelson Reyes were at the breakfast in Frankfurt. Jim, you are getting a feel for all the preparations and celebrations today. You can still hear the parade festivities behind you. That's right, Brooke. We are knee deep in the middle of this parade. We just saw the uh, Western Kentucky University marching band pass by on their way up to the Capitol right now. Lots of people still out here for the parade in what is a festive at atmosphere. And it's been a festive atmosphere all morning long. We attended the inaugural breakfast that the lieutenant governor was a part of earlier this morning that held a little bit further downtown here in Frankfurt and she delivered a message of both hopefulness and gratefulness for the opportunity to continue to serve the Commonwealth for the next four years. She thanked the community of Franklin County to be able to for welcoming them in to Franklin County four years ago and making sure that they remain welcome for the next four years. And she did give a couple of quick little quips as well. She told everybody that she was grateful that it was going to be significantly warmer today than it was four years ago. That got a pretty big laugh out of the room as well. And also said again how she was just grateful to be able to take this opportunity to really take everything in. That's what she said she was going to be doing during the parade today, making sure she took all of this in, internalized it, and felt the gratitude and the thankfulness for being able to be in this position for another four years. We also talked with a couple of people who were at the inaugural breakfast for the very first time, big supporters of Andy Bashir, saying that they really, uh, really appreciated being able to be a part of today, and we're excited to see what what the governor would do for the next four years for the Commonwealth. Now, as you can see, we are still knee deep in this parade. We've seen a lot of elected officials making their way past right now on their way up to the Capitol, which is just probably 200 yards away from where we're standing. It is a festive atmosphere. It was going to continue to be a festive atmosphere throughout the rest of the day. Lots still to come, capping things off with the inaugural ceremony coming up at two and then the inaugural ball later on tonight at seven. Brooke. We will see you back here uh, a little bit later. We'll have team coverage of Governor Andy Bashir's inauguration. You can watch our live stream through the WHAS 11 app and follow for updates on air today at 4, 5 and 6.